Hello folks, many of you may be aware of the Stratux, S-T-R-A-T-U-X. There was an article in the EAA magazine. And what it is, is a Raspberry Pi with a software-defined radio, basically a TV tuner, and it monitors the ADSB output of uh, the ground and other aircraft. And what it allows you to do for sub $100, do what a $500 device like the XGPS does. And I actually own one and it works great. But what I'm doing right here is I'm running a PiAware and it feeds FlightAware and it monitors aircraft, both the ADSB and the Modest Transponder and gives you a map. So the cool thing is um, I can look anytime I hear an airplane, either I can pull up the web page for my device on my phone or on my computer and see the airplane going over and and what it is and what it's doing and as a canardian i haven't seen other canards go by but i've seen you know a bunch of cirrus a bunch of 172s going by and what this video is about is how i've modified my um adsb receiver my piaware receiver and what i did is i built a mast for it here I'm drilling some of the mounting holes for it. The um, one hole I drill, I actually, this hole here, I kind of bugger up. And you're going to see me make a drill guide out of a 2x4 a little bit later. So the great way to drill, and I realize now, is the step drill. So here you're going to see me, I'm marking the hole I kind of buggered up. Uh, and I'm going to be clamping a 2x4 to the PVC as a drill guide so I can get the hole properly centered, uh, whereas it would have been really bad. Uh, the hole actually kind of looks like a figure eight as the drill took a bite and, you know, really messed it up. So here you see the hole and it's proper and nice. And I'm kind of doing this like a wordless workshop uh, and I'm doing it at 4x speed so you guys aren't bored to death. Right now I'm cutting the 2x4s that I'm going to mount on the back of my lawn shed. Now my lawn shed has power, so that's a good thing. Originally what was going on is I had my Raspberry Pi sitting in a piece of gladware probably for about three years now. Out under the roof of my Tiki Hut, and which has power also. And just the antenna sitting on the bar of the Tiki Hut. So... What I'm doing here is pre-drilling all of the holes. Right now I'm snaking the wire. I'm, you know, like kind of um, redneck engineering a snake of some sort to snake the wire for both. Uh, right now, all right, what I'm drilling is the hole for the uh, USB Wi-Fi dongle. And back there I'm drilling the hole for the wires to come out. So I'm snaking the USB wire in. And up top, I'm drilling the hole for the uh, SDR radio antenna wire to come out. And the little antenna is going to mount on top. And I'm just using the antenna that came with the kit. And the antenna works best with the antenna just unextended. That's near the right length for a MODES transponder and ADSB out. <coughs> Pardon me for clearing my throat. All right, so there goes the SDR radio, dropping the cap on, the wire for the antenna sticking out. And that is the black item that I'm uh, electrical taping up, is I'm electrical taping the connector, the, the USB extension wire, to secure it to the Wi-Fi dongle, which I'm going to place midway up the tube there and I'm going to screw the antenna directly into it and the video is a little bit painful because you can see some of the trials and tribulations of getting it set up and once I get it in place and I fish around with some allen keys I realize that the hole is still not big enough to get it oriented properly and get a good purchase on it to be able to hold it in place and then screw the antenna on. So I'll pull it back, use the unibit to open up the hole a bit. And I'm going to pause here until we catch up to that sequence.
So the reason I'm doing this is I wanted to get my antenna up higher so I get better range so I can see more aircraft. So this is sub 10 bucks worth of, you know, equipment to make it happen. And I'm very excited about this and had excellent results. I may actually go to Home Depot and get another coupler in 10 foot length and boost my mast up another 10 feet. It does look stable right now. I'm just worried about getting it too long and getting it unstable. Okay, when I pick up the black thing, that's the actual antenna. I'm trying to screw it onto the USB Wi-Fi dongle, which I'm not having good success with. And shortly into this, you will see I grab the drill with the unibit. And we'll wait for that to occur. And realize, folks, uh, this is going at 4x speed. I was living at 1x speed uh, with my frustration trying to make this work. Ah, yes, the Unibit. And open up the hull, and, uh, you know, if stuff doesn't work, a bigger hull always makes it better, right? Well, so here it is. It looks like I get it aligned. I, I'm orienting it in the right direction. I'm able to screw the antenna on it. And once I get the antenna screwed in, I'm going to plug, you'll see the Gladware uh, from the original device where it was living on the bar in my Tiki Hut for probably about two years. So I'm going to plug it in and make sure everything works. So that, that's the power-up test. So there is the unextended antenna, uh, just off-center in the frame. You see the former Gladware uh, container uh, that everything was living in. And um, what was in my hand was the Raspberry Pi, if you're not familiar with Pi devices. And yes, this is the bar in my Tiki Hut where the uh, Pi-Aware, which was the Raspberry Pi and the software-defined radio, was living. Now that is my lawn shed, and it has power, and there's conduit running underground. Thank you, prior owners of the house, for running conduit everywhere. And if I ever put sprinkler in, I'll probably cut up a bunch of it. So what I'm doing right here is using some clear RTV to uh, weatherproof the hull. So that's the wire for the software-defined radio antenna. And what I'm doing right now is I'm just going to pierce some uh, blue tape with the antenna and I'm going to glue the antenna to the top of the pole and hold it there till the uh, RTV dries, cures. And right now what I'm doing is uh, severely gooping up the hole where the Wi-Fi antenna lives and I'm going to zippy tie it in place so it doesn't move around and again a generous helping of RTV makes everything good and I snipped the uh, zip tie short. All right, I pre-drilled and I put on the first uh, mount, the 2x4 mount with the bolt going through. Now the second mount I didn't pre-mount because that's how I'm going to figure out which is level, which I probably could have held a level up against that instead of using the TLAR method, which is that looks about right. Uh, which I'm going to give credit to Dr. Kevin Funk, a fellow Canardian, because that's a methodology he used to design his baggage pots, or as he calls, dragage pots. Okay, so uh, you missed what I did there with the drill. I poked a hole through the screen so I could feed the two USB cables through. One USB cable for the software defined radio, and that's like a, I don't know if it's a 30 or 50 foot uh, USB cable, but works great and the shorter USB cable is for the Wi-Fi antenna. Now the Wi-Fi is facing north towards the house, and I did put an access point in the house in the uh, rafters. Uh, you know, the house has a trust roof, so there's a bunch of rafters, and the rafters, um, that's all wood structure. So the Pretty much through some plywood, I have line of sight to the access point. And uh, that gives me outdoor Wi-Fi. And there I am uh, with channel locks, which I always recommend using the right size wrench for the right size nut. And there I am in the quote-unquote loft, where I poked a hole through the vent for the USB wires to go through. 
and I'm going to be plugging in the Raspberry Pi, which you'll see in a brief moment. There it is. And powering it up and making sure it works properly. And there you have it. The lights are coming on. It's booting. So this is how the final mast looks like for the PiAware. And what I'm trying to do is I completely avoided mounting this on the roof of the house where I would have needed spousal approval. And I don't think my wife uh, even looks at the shed. So I didn't have to go to her for a yay or nay on this project. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate your viewership.